we need to put the fear of what others think about us behind us. That is how we learn. That is how we learn beyond what we're being taught or programmed with. We are being indoctrinated not only in the education system, but through marketing, billboards, magazines, the internet, television, movies, those are all media forms or media types through which marketing sells us ideas. Whether it's a commercial on the TV or the show itself, same with the movies, the indoctrination, the spells that they cast and they weave and they hex over us are all very, very real. They seek to control and dominate us. Socially, we're controlled and conditioned to believe and behave certain ways. But they're all false. If they, if they tell you what you need to think, then they're not real. They're man-made, they're synthetic, and they're designed with one thing in, in mind and one thing only, and that is to keep you from being free, to control you, to own you. I want people to free their minds. Free the mind and your ass will follow. But you'll find when you get free of it, you'll turn around and there's not going to be many people behind you. It's a big step to take, freedom. It's not lonely here, but there are fewer of us and you feel like you're an extremist because you're out there basically by yourself with just a few others. So what do we do? Do you choose extremism? Do you choose to be a radical? 50 years ago, guys, 100 years ago, 200, all the things I talk about were not radical. They were not extreme. They were considered everyday conversation, discussions about the government and about society, about what is going on in the world. You could discuss everything and anything and hold an opinion and share it and not feel shamed or guilted for having such thoughts and opinions. America was founded on the idea that men are free and they're born that way and they should live and then die that way as free men. So am I radical? Am I an extremist? No. But I am the enemy of those who are controlled, controlled thought. I'm the enemy of a system that wants to indoctrinate and make slaves out of people. I spoke with my brother briefly earlier and I asked him something and he said, ah, uh, yeah, aha. Uh -huh. I could hear him back away from me on the subject matter. I could hear it in his voice. It was shame and guilt. He didn't want to say anything positive. I have another friend that talks to me about subjects, subjects we discuss on here. And I was basically made to feel like I was radical and an extremist and way out there. And my friend realized halfway through that part of the conversation that a lot of the ideas that I express on here, we've already talked about the two of us and discuss them openly, candidly, without fear or reservation. But when listening to them on this channel, they sound extreme and sound crazy. That's control. That's social control and manipulation in our lives. And we need to see it for what it is. There's a lot of people that are out there on the limbs, man, out there in the way out. They used to be, and now as we learn, as we Americans, as we regular people learn more and more information. They don't sound so radical anymore, do they? Guys like Alex Jones that have been out there for decades talking. Even guys like D uh, David Icke over there in England. He has a lot of crazy ideas about uh, satanic cults and lizard people and pedophilia and the problem that the government has and how there's a control matrix over us. And he has been vindicated over the last few years. 
in a lot of the subjects he talks about, the conspiracies, it's all come to light that it's true, that the guy was right, as radical as he sounded back then, as more people become aware through education, through self-education in the internet, they found out that these guys are not radicals. Guys like Alex Jones, who say things like there's an agenda out there, Agenda 21, and the UN, and the New World Order, and the Bilderberg Group. How many decades was Jim Tucker laughed at and scorned when he was part of uh, an independent research group that looked into Bilderberg? And now many, many Americans, and people worldwide, in fact, realize that there is a new world order, that there is an Illuminati that's real, and it's not a bunch of Freemasons sitting around in a lodge uh, somewhere in America. It's people in power, people that run the nation, that are part of big corporate elitist money and power. They're all there. And these people have pointed out, and they once sounded radical, but not anymore. And if you read the Founding Father and the early patriots of America and read what they have to say about government back then, you would think that they sound radical, but that's how people talked and thought. So if you find yourself sounding radical, maybe you just sound like you're free, like you have freedom of thought and freedom of expression, and you should never feel guilt or shame over that. I don't. And anyone who seeks to shame or guilt me over my thoughts, my expressions, I know what they're doing. They're trying to control and own me. And a lot of people will reject new thoughts and new ideas. And they'll reject being free because they're afraid. And those who seek to control others realize, accept, and know that social control, that fear, is used to get what they want out of us. So when you see radical agendas like feminism being exposed, and you know it to be true, you don't have fear anymore. But there will be others around you who will try and make you fearful of what they think and what could happen to you. Right? you got to fight the power, man. This is John. I wish you a good day, good night. Free your mind. Free your mind.